Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running SteamOS 3 in VirtualBox. To get started, navigate to the Steam website and download the latest Steam Deck recovery image. Navigate to your downloads directory and extract the downloaded archive with 7-zip. While holding Shift, right-click in the white space and select Open PowerShell window here. Now we'll use the move command to rename the Steam Deck recovery image to just Steam Deck recovery.img. Then we'll use VBox Manage to convert the raw image to a VDI that VirtualBox can use. Next, launch VirtualBox Manager. Create a new VM and set the type to Linux Arch 64 bit. Give the new VM 4GB of memory or more, and at least two CPU cores. Make sure to check the Enable EFI checkbox, then create a new virtual disk that's at least 30GB in size. Edit the new VM settings, and on the System tab, verify the Enable EFI box is checked. Select Display from the left navigation, and slide the video memory slider all the way to the right. Then in the Network settings, set the Attach to to Bridged Adapter, then select Storage. Add an additional SATA hard disk and browse to and select the recovery image we converted to VDI earlier. Click OK to save the changes and settings, then start the VM. Once you reach a desktop, double-click Terminal with Repair Tools. We'll use the FDisk command to list the attached storage devices. Note the device ID for the VBox hard disk. Next, we'll edit the Repair Device Bash script in the Nano Editor. Scroll down to the disk equals variable and set the value to the device ID for the VirtualBox hard disk noted earlier. Set the disk suffix value to blank. Then save the changes and close out of the editor. With the target device set, we're ready to execute the repair device bash script. Click the proceed button to confirm overriding the disk. Once prompted that re-imaging is complete, click cancel so we don't reboot the VM. Next, we'll chroot to the newly imaged VirtualBox hard disk. Then we'll disable the disk being read-only and use passwd to set the root password. Then we'll set the auto login behavior to go to desktop mode by default. Now we'll re-enable read-only mode and exit the ch root. Next, we'll follow the exact same steps for part set B. With all that completed, we'll shut down the VM. Open the VM settings, and under Storage, remove the recovery VDI. Then click OK and restart the VM. Once the desktop environment loads, launch a terminal from the Applications menu. We'll start by deleting the existing Pac-Man keyring. Then we'll generate a new keyring using pacman-key-init, followed by adding the Arch Linux keys to the new keyring. Now we'll check for and install any available software updates. From the VirtualBox Devices menu, select Insert Guest Editions Image. 
Open the Dolphin File Manager and navigate to the Mounted Guest Edition CD. Right-click in the white space and select Open Terminal. Then we'll run sudo dot slash vbox linux editions dot run to install the guest editions. Once the installation completes, we'll run another command to make sure the services are started and enabled, then we'll reboot the VM. Welcome to SteamOS, running as a VM in VirtualBox.